2023 is underway here in Istanbul and I have with me a very interesting guest, Sam Shui, an aviation blogger, expert. Uh, you would have seen his videos on Instagram, on YouTube as well. He's joining us for a very fun chat. One, Sam, thank you so much for taking our time and joining us here. Pleasure. Uh, how are you enjoying your time at IDA 2023? Well, this year is full swing. Um, you know, the aviation industry has been affected by the pandemic yes. the last couple of years. And this year we have a full recovery scenario and lots of airlines are back in the black. So this year is unprecedented, a great year for aviation. Yes. Uh, Sam, we wanted to do a fun session with you. So uh, you've had quite a few uh, trips to India. You've had one recently as well. Uh, what do you make of the Indian makers and how do you compare them vis-a-vis -vis to the foreign carriers? Yeah, so the aviation market in India, the way I see it, is very sensitive. Mm. It's always, just like other, other countries' aviation, is very prone to different events, mm. external shocks, economies. Um, however, this time, Air India really, really um, you know, opened my eyes because I was given a lot of behind-the-scenes tour in Air India, see how they transform. Mm. Um, and I think there's a lot of hopes. The best for Air India is yet to come mm. because they order a lot of airplanes. Mm. This takes time. It takes about a year or two years to deliver these new mm. airplanes. So when they have the new airplanes, new products with the new service concept, mm. maybe Air India has a good chance to go back to their glory days. Sure. In the interim time, they're leasing several uh, mm. other airlines, airplanes to fill mm. the capacity. Yeah. But Air India have a great advantage in India because mm. They're one of the very few long haul airline provider to go mm. international from India to go to US, India to go to Europe, Asia. Mm. So I think the focus on Air India is relaunching more and more mm. destinations in the world. Yeah. Focus on international. Mm. Okay, focus on international. But as you rightly pointed out, there's a lot of churn that's happening as well because we're still coming out of the pandemic phase, right? So the recovery phase is actually now in its true sense actually taken off. But there are other concerns as well, specifically for Indian carriers, like with what happened with Gophers, it, you know, it's issues with Pratt & Whitney. Um, those are issues that we've seen in the past as well, even with the now defunct Kingfisher mm -hmm. Airlines. How do you assess the situation? So this is exactly what I said. The market is very sensitive here. And um, you know, in India, largely the market is price driven. Mm -hmm. And however, recently I watched news India hit about just about half a million flyers yes. in one particular yes, day. Yes. That's a record because the market has this much of population and potential yeah. and there's room for everybody. But managing an airline is not an easy task. Yes. Okay, Sam, now I want to do a quick rapid fire with you. I want to understand from you top three airlines as far as food is concerned. Top three airlines? As food is concerned. Food. Oh, so now food is a bit of personal <laughs> choice, right? I would really say top three. Air France okay. is one of the best. Turkish Airlines <laughs> is one of the best. And I'm going to give credit to maybe ANA Japan and some other Asian airlines. They're very good delicacies because I love Asian food. <laughs> okay. In terms of comfort? So in terms of comfort, we're going to compare apple to apple, first class to first class. Sure. Best first class, maybe Air France, Emirates, okay. and business class, Qatar Airways. Okay. Um, there's actually, now airlines are so focused on first and business. Yes. They need to focus more on economy, economy right? Because yes. economy comforts largely define pretty much the same. Yes. And, um, you know, typically a wider body airplane provide better comfort. That's mm -hmm. why I like wide bodies. Okay, I want to understand as far as pricing is concerned, we've seen this even with domestically Indian carriers and international as well. Pricing is very steep as of now. Do you think that's a deliberate strategy to keep the prices up as far as uh, air carriers are concerned? I think we knew price is driven by supply and demand. Sure. Um, when there's so many airplane parked, it takes a lot of time to revamp. Mm. It takes a lot of time for airlines to hire the manpower to mm. operate mm. the flights on the ground and engineering and mm. also pilots and crew. Yeah. So all of these factors add in, we are seeing high prices. Mm. I'm not surprised the price is going to come down eventually when there's more capacity coming back mm. and also uh, when there's release uh, a little bit ease of the manpower situation. But you're right. Right now, the high fare situation is not everyone's liking. Yeah, high fare, of course, is uh, not a liking. I also want to understand uh, from you, what is the kind of pattern that you're seeing or trends that you're seeing in 2023 that you think are going to play a key role going forward? For example, the role of artificial intelligence, possibly. The role of? Artificial intelligence. Right. The way I see is sustainability is mm -hmm. a big talk. Um, COP29. Yes. Am I right, right? I'll, say, I'll start one more time. Yes. 
the way I see it, sustainability is a big push in aviation. Um, in every meeting like IATA, AGM, or any other meeting with manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus, there's always a big push. Mm. And this thing is difficult to talk to because it's invisible. You know, I cannot see it. It's fairly abstract in the production process or in the uh, process of you know, creating sustainable aviation field or, yes. uh, or planting trees, right? It's a very hard, long process. Mm. But I think that the focus is there. So now it's making everyone be more sustainable. And yeah. I have to think about, do I really need to travel to come here? Yeah. Do I really need to fly? So even on the back of myself, become it's more a, conscious. Because yeah. honestly, I used to do maybe 100 some flights a year, right? That's absurd, right? That's like maybe three days. Now I'm doing far less. Yeah. I'm only taking a very meaningful and direct flight as well. Okay, perfect, Sam. This was a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much for taking out the time. Very welcome.